And this week, NATO must send an unmistakable message in support of Ukraine as well. Our alliance has had a partnership with Ukraine for more than 20 years. Ukrainian forces have served with distinction in NATO operations in the Balkans and Afghanistan. So in Wales, we'll meet as an alliance with President Poroshenko to show that our 28 nations are united in support of Ukraine's sovereignty and right to defend its territory. Now, Ukraine needs more than words. NATO needs to make concrete commitments to help Ukraine modernize and strengthen its security forces. And, by the way, we have to do more to help other NATO partners, including Georgia and Moldova, strengthen their defenses as well. And we must reaffirm the principle that has always guided our alliance. For countries that meet our standards and that can make meaningful contributions to allied security, the door to NATO membership will remain open. 